What's up, y'all? If you're new to the channel, my name is Avian Azurin, and I'm an avid personal watercraft writer. I explore multiple waterways around the United States and take my viewers along to ride away with me on these adventures. But today is a little different. I've got something that I'm pretty excited about. Every year, all the brands do their unveiling of their 2022 products. But this year, I got super excited about a new product that's gonna be releasing to the boating world pretty soon. And that is the sea Switch, also known AKA as the Showstopper. And I've got it right here, right behind me. So when I was given the opportunity to check it out, I was like, hell yeah! Of course I couldn't pass that up. And that's what I got behind me. The sea Switch 170 horsepower. And I wanted to give you, the viewers, the supporters of the channel, a chance to check it out also with me. I've been using it for about two days so far and I'm gonna be showing y'all a quick tour around and inside on the deck of the Sea-Doo Switch. Let's start off this tour talking about the hole. This is technically a pontoon, but has a design of what I would think like a catamaran, a tritune, and it's made out of Polytech. Now, Polytech is seen in some of the PWCs that Sea-Doo has on their lineup. And I've had one of those skis, which is the Spark or the Spark Trix for about five years. Now, this is a very durable product and a lot of people always have concerns about it, but I'm like, what for? Unless you're running over a big boulder rock that's in the water or hitting something like another ski, I wouldn't really be worried about it. And based on testing it recently, this thing holds up. Barely feel anything. I run over chop and wakes like nothing. The middle hole sits lower and it adds more stability for the pontoon. This one has a little bit of step that goes over here and you have about the two foot extra space. This is the swim platform here. So let me just go over the basics, what's going on back here right now. And this is for those that don't have a sea do or just new into having a sea do or are getting into the boating world brand new for the newbies. These here, are trim tabs that they control the VTS of basically controlling up and down it's called a variable trim system and to go up and down so if you're taking on a lot of waves or anything like that or if it's choppy just based on the water conditions you can adjust how your nose which is also known as the bow will be up or down these are your drain plugs and your flush ports that hole right up there is your bilge pump right there. That's where the water will come out in case there's any water inside the hole where the engine compartment is at. If water gets in there, all you have to do is turn on your bilge pump and it will push it out. It also works great to have a bilge pump when you need to clean the engine compartment of salt water and you're using any type of salt away, that is perfect. Here is another flush port for when you need to clean any of the pontoons or flush them out. You've got the clear canvas, window canvases on the side. Here is the access of where you would put your fuel and open the fuel cap. It takes 87 octane, which is great because most boat marinas don't carry 93 and this is not a supercharge that's what's so great about it is that you get more funds for the gallon when having a 170 naturally aspirated motor in there you have the lights don't forget because you're on a boat you're able to use this at night enjoy the moonlight or 
watch the fireworks. That's something that I'm really jealous about when it comes to um, boaters, that they can go out at night and don't have to be in by sunset. Okay, you got the other light over there and you've got this lovely horn. Now, Sidu, if you're watching this, maybe y'all can include a horn on one of the Sidu skis. That would be freaking awesome. Now, let me show you guys what y'all really want to see. We're going to get up here on the steps that are included on the trailer. And to open the door, all you're going to have to do is lift right here. And ta-da! It's open. Okay. But before we go all the way in, let's talk about this right here. Now, this little compartment at the front, which is the bow of the Sea-Doo Switch, is the anchor storage. Most boats, from what I know, don't come with a free anchor, but when you purchase a CD switch, this one comes with one. And I think it's about 40 to 50 feet of rope that fits in here. So you have a designated area to hold your anchors, which is pretty nifty because this is good for new boaters. All right, so let's walk up on this deck. So I've had this for a couple days now and everybody that has came on to the Cedar Switch has never seen live in person. So the one thing you cannot ignore and you find unusual is these little hole designs on the deck, right? And then you're like, where's the carpet at? Because normal pontoons have carpet, but there's a reason for this, perfectly good reason for this. And that very good reason for this design, this weird looking design that people are not used to, was to allow majority of the deck of this CD switch to be configurable. And when I mean configurable, let me give you an example. How many times have you guys changed your living room around? You move your living room furniture, you're like, I get tired of the same old, same old. Well. That's what they did. They came up with the design. Most boats or pontoons come where their furniture on the deck is permanent. You can't just move it around whenever you feel like it. And if you do move it around, it's gonna cost you quite a bit to move it around. It's stuck there. So they came up with something different. On this model, which is the sea -Doo Switch Cruiser, it comes with these two tables that have open compartment spacing underneath and these lovely bench seating chairs. I need to come, come down here, let's take a look. So one thing I can't stand is a cluttered deck on a boat. Oh my gosh, it gives me anxiety. So under every seat, there is this amazing space underneath it. And you see right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six seats up front for this floor plan that has right here. And this is how deep it is. Let me see my arm. See? It's pretty big. And it goes all the way through in case you have anything that's long. It's not like, okay, you have to have only this type of size, but it can be anything that's like fishing poles can go in there. Um, you can remove the panels on the side just in case you need to slide something else in there. And if we go to the back, you have seven eight nine and that's all storage space that your passengers can put their belongings in now let me show you up close the deck now these don't lift up you'll have to use tools to lift this up they do have mats like foam cushions that easily clip into here and here like anywhere on the deck and you can easily take them out so you can clean them but I haven't been using them that much, but if you want something soft, especially to lay down on, that's perfect. And you're easily able to clean it versus have to scrub it while it's on here. But let's talk about this. I'm not gonna go into full depth about moving the furniture around. That'll be in a different video where I'll show y'all how easy it is to move the furniture around on the deck. Everywhere right here that has these like a circle with four little slots that's where a chair or a table can go so and right now you see how they have them in the corners anywhere that has this you can screw in the table 
So here's one spot, another spot, and another spot. So you can fit three tables right here just on the front. You got these lovely cup holders, or you can put the accessory bags here to keep cell phones and cameras and whatever else y'all want. Okay, I have the Bimini down right now, but let's move to the back. I'm just gonna crawl under here and in another video, y'all will be able to see how easy it is to put up this Bimini. And now I'm on the other side. So right here we have the open area. Here's the two link systems. For you guys that don't know what a link system is, these pop up and you can put coolers, storage compartments, and other things that the link system will connect to. We got one of the accessories that this model comes with is this link bag. It's pretty cool. And it hooks up right here so you don't have bags just sliding around everywhere or you don't have to have a bungee holding stuff down or strapping stuff down. It just clicks right in. You have the console right here, which has the handlebars for steering and the IBR system. And I'm gonna go more into detail about that um, in another video. And then you have the captain's seat over here. And this goes up and down, of course, for you new, new boaters, that's just up. So you can lean against it while standing up and kind of have a seating position. The mirror that pops up, I just have it down for when we're driving. And like I showed y'all before, the extra seats that are over here with extra storage compartment underneath. Lovely, more cup holders. Can never have enough cup holders. And cushion right here. You can jump off around this area. More sections of moving the furniture, of making it modular, changing the configuration and everything. And I love it. I just love getting that new feel, like changing up a floor plan it makes it feel like it's brand new. Let's move on to the back. Now this is a swim platform right over here and it comes with two link systems here. You can either put another cooler or two coolers or fuel or any of the link products. You come out here and you stand over here. When I was back there, I did show you the telescoping ladder. It's super easy to open from when you're standing on the swim platform or just up here or in the water. All you have to do is grab it, lift that and pull it out and telescope it out. And there you go, you've got the ladder for when people are in the water and they can easily come right back up. Let me show y'all something else over here. This is the engine bay area. Now it uses a 1630 Ace Rotax motor, which is seen on the Sea-Doo line of PWCs. Let me open it up. And what I really like about it, it's super easy to access and also to clean. Now what's really good about this is that you have almost complete access right here, easy access to do any type of maintenance that you need to do. And most of the time you only need to do your normal oil changes and spark plugs on these unless you put like some serious hours that you need to start changing other things that goes more into detail but look at this look how much space is in there where you can get around and access the motor really easily all right so i didn't show y'all storage compartment area that basically a whole body can fit in here I mean, don't get any ideas, guys, but you know what I mean. Now, let me show you what's in here right now. We got dock bumpers. The table. The table mount. The light poles. And an inflatable tube and some rope and the emergency kit is in here also i don't want to pull all of this out but you get the idea look how deep it is it's pretty deep in there so here's from this angle so y'all can see this is a big inflatable towable and i don't feel like pulling that out 
I've seen videos where people can fit in there. I mean, it's not advice, but they're just giving you an idea so you can see how big it is and how much stuff you can fit in there. Whew. Now I'm pretty sweaty. The sun came out and I'm getting all hot, giving y'all this quick little tour. And it was all worth it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And here's a good tip also. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Hit that little bell, because that bell will allow you to get notifications when I upload videos. And if there's something I didn't cover that you have questions about, go ahead and comment down below. So that's it guys. Until next time, see y'all on the water.